Well, good afternoon, viewers. We're back working on this 2014 Chevy Silverado with the 5.3 liter L83, I think it is. Let me double check that. Yes, L83. Yesterday I posted a video about a parasitic draw and this Relay 59 is energized all the time and I couldn't figure out what it was for. It's called 59 is labeled fuel pump relay. But the 5.3 L83 engine and the 6.2 uh, L86 engine use a fuel pump driver module, so do not use that relay. In the three quarter tons with the 6.0 liter engine, which is a L96 variant, it uses this relay. Um, I'll show you the electrical circuit in a, in a minute. I also learned that there's a dual tank option available which uses another second relay down here now this particular location is not even populated with pins but that is uh, um, let's see here focus fuel pump relay 2 number 66 so let's look at the circuit so going into OEM wiring diagrams I'm typing in fuel pump. And search. So with this, if you ID it as a three quarter ton, it could come with a 5.3, 6.2, or a 6 liter, apparently. But if I go to the L96 engine, or LC8, which is compressed natural gas, it shows this variation. So, this relay is power side controlled. Oh, sorry, you got to scroll down. It's the eighth diagram in the list here. Yeah, here it is here. So, this relay is power side controlled by the PCM or the ECM on terminal 28, which on the 5.3 doesn't have a pin populated in there, but on the 6 liter it will. X128 sends power to the relay pin 86 and I have power to it all the time when the key is off that's why the relay is on because it's grounded all the time now this fuel pump fuse 20 which is 25 amps is powered up all the time and that's different on this relay center so as far as I can tell there's either a short to voltage on circuit 465 here or there's a problem with the underhood fuse block. I looked at a, a 15, 16, and a 17 today with 5.3 liter engines, and they all had this relay in them. None of them made a difference when I pulled the relay out while it was running. So that's a redundant relay. So I think there might be a problem with the fuse block. It might be shorted internally, supplying power to this circuit, bleeding power off of the battery positive or something. Uh, but I'd have to take it apart to find out. I'm, I'm going to leave the relay out and discuss the options with the customer. It doesn't need that relay. It doesn't power up Fuse 20. Fuse 20 is powered up by something else. Let's have a look at Fuse 20. So here you see Fuse 20. It says ESC, ELC, EXH, 30 amp. And it's a 30 amp fuse in there. And it's live all the time. So that's not this circuit. So I don't know why GM puts that relay in, in, pin, in location 59 because it's not technically required as far as I can tell. This is really a strange, interesting problem. And over on the other side, you can see there's the N2N option, which is dual tanks. I didn't even know these trucks were available with dual tanks. Apparently... Uh, the conventional tank along the frame and one behind the rear axle that's the secondary tank and it's has they both have conventional fuel pumps in them and the way the system works as far as i can tell is when the fuel level in the primary tank gets low the pump in the secondary tank pumps fuel to transfer it from the secondary tank to the primary tank based on the fuel level in the primary tank 
yeah, this is just a conventional system. But again, it doesn't need this relay, and I don't know why they bothered putting it in there. I suppose I could try to see if connector X2 under the fuse panel, pin 4, P4 here, is populated. If it is, then this circuit could be shorted to ground. It might still have the wire in the harness, who knows? Or I could go right to the ECM and see if connector X1 has a pin in 28. When I look at connector view, it doesn't list that pin. Misinformation. So you lift those latches up and that fuse box lifts right out of there. Now the power feed wire is still attached to it, but it's not physically attached any way, shape or form to any other wire in there. One of these is X2, probably black one, I'm not sure, but that's regardless. This is in pin 86 of that control relay. And if I put a test light on it, it's live. So. It's not a short to voltage, it's the fuse panel that's internally shorting, supplying power to that relay. So if he wants to fix it, we've got to replace the fuse panel. If it was mine, I would just drive it the way it is with the relay out of there. It's not required. And uh, if something else starts to go wonky, then we'll deal with it.